Hello everyone, I'm Cassidy, and the time for Diablo 4 is quickly approaching with only 6 days left until the early access on the 1st at the time of recording. So I'm here to help make sure you have everything in order so that you can be ready to play come June 1st for early access or launch day on the 5th. June 1st at 4pm is when the game is available for early access users, and June 5th, 4pm, PT, is when it is available for everyone else. Your first order of business is to listen to what I said again, because I've been seeing people still wondering when they get access to the game. I'll throw it up on screen right now for you. June 1st at 4pm Pacific Time is when the game is available for early access users, and June 5th at 4pm uh, PT or Pacific Time is when it's available for everyone else. For example, for me, that means the game will be able to play on June 1st at 6pm due to time zone differences. And I think that's where a lot of people are getting confused, as well as some news outlets and articles showing the wrong dates. Rod Ferguson, the Senior Vice President for Diablo at Blizzard, also reinforced that statement saying it is those times. Real quick, on the 29th of May, there's going to be a KFC promotion that is going to begin. Uh, I think you have to buy a sandwich and up to five sandwiches or orders from them to get all the rewards. There's five cosmetic weapons you can get from that promotion. So now that you know when you can play the game, let's make sure you have the ability to play the game. And by that mean for all you out there that have families or prior commitments to get those taken care of. I made a video a few months ago telling you all to take time off to play the game if it meant enough for you to do so. And also talk with your spouse or loved ones and make sure that they are taken care of so that way you have more stress-free time to transition into your game session without needing to worry about other things in life for a little while. This can include things like meal prepping or setting up a plan with your wife or husband, especially if you have kids that you can ensure your kids and your spouse are taken care of. If you need to pamper them for the next 6 days before launch, now is the time to get those brownie points in. On more in-game related things, I think you should absolutely have a build in mind for the class you intend to play and have it lined up so that way you can set yourself up and be ready for fun, and so that slapping skill points in while you're rushing through Sanctuary doesn't feel rushed and stress you out. Having a pre-thought out path or goal in mind for your build will help you out more than you think. Now I'm going to move on to some slight spoiler territory with Map Genie. This is a map that you can use to show you all the major points of interest, like Statues of Lilith, which if you play the beta, you know that provides you with some important permanent stat buffs, and once you have them, you don't have to worry about getting them again. That's what I would be using this map for, and I'm sure that if you look hard enough, you can find the Tamagotchi you left in the couch over in Kiyobusha. If you want to find this map, you can head over to mapgenie.io and then bookmark it. Next up, you want to be early, and I mean this because in every beta they've done so far, they've dropped the servers about 10 minutes before uh, the advertised start time, and you want to be early because many streamers and content creators like myself will be trying to get in, and any fans of them will pack in all that false hope to try and get in so they can play with them, or at best annoy them while they're watching them live, like Asmongold fans. I'll follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go. Quick tip when you're ordering food for you and your spouse to save time, instead of asking them what they want, make them guess what you're going to eat that day. The first thing that comes to their mind and say is probably what they want to eat, and this will save you time. So when you say, hey babe, guess what we're having for dinner? They go, oh babe, no wait, tell me we're going to have in and out now, everyone here and out there is going to remember the plan, I hope. Your instinct when they guess what you're going to be eating is you're, you're going to try and say no to whatever they say. Fight that urge and say yes, then order it. It is going to save you some time, I promise you. The final piece of news is that preload is going to be available starting May 30th. That is two days before the early access on June 1st. That's all I have, everybody. Buckle up, because this is going to be a fun time this year with Diablo 4, and if you want to see more of the game, I will be streaming right here on YouTube June 1st. I'll be playing Sorceress. Other than that, if this video helped you in some way, consider subscribing and dropping a like, and I will see you all later. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.